Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Solera Universal Awning Arms here on our 2007 Four Winds Chateau Class C motorhome. So the best thing about these arms is that they have an auto rain dump feature. So what that means is that when pressure builds up from rain pooling up on top of our awning, whatever side starts to get too heavy, our awning arm right here is going to pop down and drop that side to dump the water so that way we don't end up wrecking our arms or tearing through our fabric. So operating your arms here are going to be super easy. All you do is you take your hook right here on your crank, pull that through. You're going to want to make sure that you have your arm lined up perfectly with that hook up there. Otherwise you're going to keep popping off. If you go counterclockwise that will push your awning out and clockwise will roll your awning right back up in. So right out of the box, we have our two arms. One side is going to be our driver. That is this side right here with our hook coming out of the head. And then we have our idler. That's just what's gonna sit there and keep spinning as our driver rotates around whenever our awning is coming in or out. So in your instructions, it's gonna say to use some kind of sealant or caulk to kind of waterproof your holes from your screws going in. I'm going to skip all that and I'm just going to use butyl tape. It's going to do a much better job. As the screws go through the butyl tape, it'll pull into the threads of it and just give you a way nicer, tight water seal. And you won't have to worry about your caulk failing that just sits outside in the sun and withers away. Just lay that across and press it down. Cut off our excess. And I'm going to do this for each set of holes down the length of the arm. When placing your arms up on our RV, you're going to want to make sure that you're actually placing this bracket directly up against the C-channel or extrusion rail that's already on your trailer. So as I'm sliding this into place, I also have a level with me so I can just double check that I have my awning arm sitting exactly how I need it to. So what I did was I cut off that zip tie that comes from the factory. I put a new one on, but I kept it a lot looser so that I can have the front of our arm come out so that I can actually get to the hole back here so that I can bolt it in place. We're going to want to make sure that we have our bracket sitting up with our C-channel or extrusion rail, like I said earlier. And then we're going to keep a level with this, trying to level out our arms here as we're putting it in place. We want to make sure that we don't have our screws setting it up for it to be super crooked on here. So we'll go ahead and start putting in our screws now. I got one somewhat started. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side with our idler arm. So I'm just double checking my level here and then we're going to go ahead and we'll shoot two screws into the bottom and then two into the middle. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. For our next part we're going to take our bead right here and then run that through our extrusion rail. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and slide our roller tube right onto our drive head here. And we'll stick one of our cotter pins that came with our kit down through the hole. And we can go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now we're on the idler head. As you can see, this has got a flat part on it and it's only gonna fit in one way with our roller tube. So you'll have to have your holes line up, otherwise it's not gonna to wanna to slip in. Put that in place. Stick our cotter pin through. And then we can go ahead and pull our cotter pin apart 
to ensure that our awning roller tube doesn't come off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up our zip ties that are on here because I want my arms to sit closed so that when I tighten up the tension here so that we don't have this billowing around, I know I got both my arms at the exact same spot. With both of our arms closed up, I'm gonna use our crank and tighten it up. Now that we have our awning tensioned up, we can go ahead and cut off our zip ties. Pull them out. So your kit's gonna come with these two black screws right here. These are gonna get screwed into the extrusion rail into the bead that runs through the awning fabric. That way the awning fabric isn't moving side to side as you open or close your awning. So we wanna shoot our screw about an inch in and we don't want to take a chance at hitting our awning and causing any kind of hole or tear. So you wanna do this real careful. We're just trying to get into that bead that holds the awning fabric into the extrusion rail here. So we're just gonna kind of feather this in. Just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Well, I think that about does it for our installation today of the Solera Universal Awning Arms here on our 2007 Four Winds Chateau Class C motorhome. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching, guys.